Hey, babe. Hey. Babe. Yeah. Oh. Welcome. Did you miss me? Of course. <laughs> you guess what? What? Just guess. Tell me. Oh. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Oh. How's my baby doing? Very well. Is he okay? Mm. Mm. I missed you, my love. I too. You know, sometimes I ask myself, what would I have done without you? <laughs> no, seriously. What would I have done without a caring wife like you? A supportive wife like you? You're such an amazing human. Do you know that? Thank you. <laughs> Babe, do you know that? Sometimes I feel like you're a prophet. Ah. A prophetess. <laughs> yes. Because you see things and they happen. <laughs> yes, like you can go on your knees and pray to God on behalf of your husband and everything just happens the way you want them to happen. Okay. What is this about, please? Tell me. <laughs> Babe, I have been promoted at work. Just like you said. Just like you predicted. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Babe, I'm serious. What? Yes, I was so excited when the MD called me and handed over the paper to me. And I was like, you said it was going to happen and it happened. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I love you so much, baby. I love you. Thank you so much. I thank you for you. everything. Oh my All right, baby. Sit down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll get some water. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? 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 Hip 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 hooray! Hip hip hip! Oh, 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 You're welcome. Babe, hold on. Oh I'll put this here. Oh. This is amazing. Yeah, <laughs> what? You jealous? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I got mine right here. Mwah! <laughs> hey. Don't even start this your thing, no. please. Hey, ignore Raymond, alright? <laughs> Just look at your beautiful flower. Mm. Like it? Thank you. Hey, why are you looking? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the crowd. Listen guys, um, I'm very excited to witness a special day like this. Oh. Um, this woman here, this beautiful woman here, is the love of my life. Um, I love her so much. I love her to Ooh. death. Yeah. She's, uh, she has got an amazing personality. 
I know I prayed to God for someone like this. And God gave me much more than I asked for. She's my best friend, my lover, my partner in crime. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the love of my life, my best friend. Everything a man wants in a woman, she has got them all. And finally, my side chick. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, I got your car. It's a birthday gift. A car! Oh, 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 oh my goodness! Oh, <laughs> I have a car! Oh, <laughs> it's your birthday! <laughs> 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 Thank you! Oh, oh, oh my goodness! I love you. Thank you. I love you. I love you so much. You mean the world to me. I love you more. I love you more. I love you more. I love you. Can you sit down? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Ray, do you have anything to say? Oh, uh, my wife does. Oh, oh, okay. She has a birthday gift. Let's go. Okay. Hey. How to say the baby? Oh, thank oh you. beautiful. Thank you, my friend. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, at this point. Oh, wait, just make it brief. Alright, this is my wife's birthday. Not I am the MC of this. Alright, just make it brief, bro. Cool. Uh, wife of my beautiful friend, Mira. Wife of my very good friend. Uh, I think it's about time you make a very special wish. Come on, go ahead. Yeah. Wish. It's a wish now, isn't it, guys? Listen, you, you, <laughs> forgot, you forgot to add this part. Make a wish and blow out the candles. Oh! Yeah! My bad. Okay, so, beautiful mirror, can you make a wish and then go around the candles? How about that? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so, my birthday wish is a um, wish, a wish, a wish, a wish, a wish for my husband to. Love me for a month. Wow. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Somebody told me I'm about to fall. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, that's so beautiful. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Blow the candles. 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 Blow one more, one more, no, no, it's yours. Blow it out. Blow it out, let's go. Right. Yeah. That's what it is. Good picture, girl. All right. So we're going to spell love. Love. Mm -hmm. Love. Oh, oh. oh, right. <laughs> we're going to count three. We're just gonna spell love for the both of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents. Um, on a count of three, two, one, go. L O V and E. This is amazing. Yeah. A beautiful one, actually. Oh, come on, baby. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, baby. Mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, I, I appreciate God for, you know, making this day possible. Mm -hmm. You're the love of my life. I love you so much. So I wish you God's blessings. I wish you long life. I wish you prosperity. I wish... Hey! Oh! I'm talking to my wife, bro. <laughs> oh! Same! Talk, talk to your wife too. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby. Don't 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 mind Raymond. Hello. Good day, ma'am. Chantal, the maid from the agency.
star link agency. Yes, ma'am. The mail said I should come exactly by this time. That's when you'll be home. Please, that's are so impossible. Oh, please, you are extremely you, funny. No, like, seriously. <laughs> but come to think of it, mm -hmm. it's fine. I mean, you said I am fat. That's you okay. You are looking fat. Listen, that's okay. Why won't I add some weight when I eat well? I have everything a man should have. I'll list them out for you to hear. I'm listening. I have a good job. Right? Yeah. I have amazing investments. Yeah. I have good health. I don't ask anyone for money. Oh, yes, we know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, to crown it all, I have an amazing home. I have a beautiful wife. Who doesn't give me stress? Who obeys me? Who doesn't tell me what to do? Well, sometimes she tells me what to do, but listen, my wife is the best woman on earth. Um, Ray. Oh, 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 oh my wife is the best woman. Oh yes, 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 yes. I could agree to a point, but on the other hand, I could disagree because you know why? Why? My wife is the best woman on the planet. What do you mean? Listen, we're, we're not going to debate about this. Absolutely. Right? My wife is the best woman on earth. Oh, 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 no, that's not true. My wife is the best woman on the planet. Ray, are you going to call someone to attest to this? That will work. So who are you going to call? Well, my wife, of course. No, no, you can't call your wife because your wife will definitely support you. I don't care what you say. Your wife is definitely on your side. I'm already on it. All right. Let's hold in a second. Fine. But... One thing I know for sure is my wife is the best woman on planet Earth. It's really good. She's gonna pick up some just weights. All right. Hello, sunshine. Hi, boo. How you doing? I'm doing amazingly well. And anyways, how is Raymond's wife doing? So Raymond's wife is doing pretty good as well. Did you hear that? Okay, baby. Right now, I probably you could call it a uh, horse to be a well in here, but I'm on a hot argument with this crazy friend of mine here, Nikki. Um, Nikki said his wife is the best wife on the planet. And I'm telling him, my wife, Ray's wife is the best wife on the planet. Nikki's right. His wife, Mira, is the best woman in the whole world. Did what? you hear that? Did you hear that? What? Give me a second. Hey, babe. Thank you so much. This is why I love you. I appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. I'm not done. Mira is the best woman in the whole world, in her husband's eyes. I am the best woman in the whole world, Did you that part? in my husband's eyes. But I tell you this, when placed on a husband's scale, the whole world will attest that my husband is the best. Oh, did you hear that? That's, uh, that's fine, you win, that's okay. Baby, that's thank so you very right. much, I'll talk to you later now. That's okay. That's Did all right. you hear that part? No, that's okay. That's all right. But listen, my wife is an amazing woman. Oh, no, no problems. Like no problems. My wife. Did I tell you she's a prophet? Not really. When she say things, they happen. Okay, let's skip that apart. Now let me tell you, my wife is the best. You know, you know the reasons why. She never nags. I could do what I want. Right. I could go and come back when I want because she trusts me. Right. Yeah, so what else? Why would you want me to prove that my wife is the best when no. she's already the best? What the matter? No, I, I get it. But my wife, I love her because she is very submissive. Oh. She doesn't give me stress. She listens to me. And above all, she prays for me. She prays? Yeah. <laughs> my wife does the same. All right. Let's just do. 
the best wives on the planet. Right. Right. Chantel. <laughs> Chantel, my friend Meludike. Oh my goodness! She never come up and stand up and give me a hug. Chantel, look at you! Oh my god, Chantel, Chantel, I've been looking all around for you. Where have you been? I mean, how come I didn't recognize you at sight? You, you reduced uh, your complexion and. <laughs> And that's because you never cared. Oh no, please. Don't say that. Yes, I reduced. And that's because it's not been easy for me. I have no home to call my own as we speak. And I've been managing this job and still I don't have a place to call my own. So when your mail came into the agency, I had to investigate and I realized it was you. I said to myself, let me come and work here. If you get to recognize me, fine. And if you don't, I'll just walk and go. And then we connected back as adults in the street. Chantel, was it not your house I stayed? You aided me, you gave me shelter. And all of a sudden you disappeared again into the thin air. I searched everywhere for you, called your number, all to no avail. Everywhere, just to thank you for, for, for aiding me. Stories had it that you traveled out. And I was wondering, why would she travel without letting me know? My best friend, my own best friend. I was worried about you. Because we went to your house and your lord were not there. My boyfriend and I searched Everywhere for you. My boyfriend, the one that I am married to now. Mm, yes, and, nice. and, I, and I wonder why, 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 why did you travel without letting me know? Why did you disappear? Long story was my dear. Good to see you though. Good to see you too. Missed you. I missed you even more. And I am happy we connected back again. Bless her. My home is your home. Yes, just feel at home. Oh my goodness. You're Thanks. not just coming here to work as I made whatever. You're my best friend. Oh my goodness. Feel at home. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Babe, I'm home. Baby! Oh, she has a guess. Hi. Good day, sir. Chantel here, the maid from the agency. Here at your service, I met your wife already. I know that feeling, walking into your home to behold one who had graciously warmed your bed in such a memorable way that will remain evergreen in your memory. Your ex. Your unforgettable ex. How did you find my house? Hmm. Let's say I'm here to continue from where we stopped. You know, darling, you never changed a bit. 
You still look as cute, yummy as ever. I missed you, you know. You didn't answer my question. I said, how did you find my house? Baby! <laughs> Hello, welcome. Hello. Very well, baby. Okay. Mm-hmm. I miss you. I miss you more. How's my baby? Kicking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're just so dramatic. It's okay. Am I? Mm, baby. Yeah. For God so loved the world that he gave us what we've been asking for. Baby, look at her. Chantel, my best friend from old. Baby, the girl I told you that helped me back then. Oh. And since then, I've been looking for her, looking for a way to say thank you for the good things she did for me. And luckily, the agency sent her to our house. Baby, oh my God, am I not so lucky? Is God not just so wonderful? Yes, baby. Shut your stand up! Baby, baby, take it easy. Take it easy. I am super excited. Come, 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 come here. Oh my goodness, girl! <laughs> welcome, sir. Yes, welcome. Baby, let me just show her around. Come, I told you, this is your house. Just feel free, relax yourself, enjoy, eat whatever. Come, let me show you. I'll take you to your room. No, you have to take it to you. I'm pregnant. That's fine. Oh my goodness, you have to look at you. Oh, your house is so cute. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. I don't know how you got into my house. And I'm not sure what your mission in my house is, but you have to leave. What's funny? Why are you smiling? The secrets we both shared is so ugly and dirty that it will send the devil himself to coma at the mention of it to his ears. And I'm sure you wouldn't want that flittering into your lovely wife's ears. Three can play the game. If I were you, I would play the game. And I'm sure you should be worried about the mental health of your lovely wife. If she gets to know about us. Shut up. Are you trying to blackmail me? Three can play the game. Enjoy the game, baby boy, and come with me on a ride. She has to leave. The girl from the agency, she has to go. My husband didn't say that, did he? Why do you want her to leave? We agreed to get a maid from the agency. That will be helping me out with the things in the house, maybe when I put to bed and when our baby is a little grown. And luckily, the agency sent my old time friend, my best friend, the one I see as a sister. The one that I've been looking for all these years to pay her back for the favor she rendered to me. And to think that she is even homeless. Why do you want her to go? I mean, you gave your consent earlier for her to stay back. And now... Why do you want her to leave? I 
Hey, listen, um... <sighs> Come on, babe, don't do this. That. Listen, I didn't mean it that way, okay? I was just in my feelings. Uh, I'm a little bit overprotective of my family, strangers, you know? You also need to be careful. I understand I initially wanted a help from the agency, but we don't know her. We don't know where she's from. I understand she's your friend, but listen, babe, it's okay. I didn't mean it that way, all right? I, I, I don't want to see you cry, and you know I'll never do anything to hurt you. It's, it's okay. It was just a joke. I, I didn't mean it that way, okay? I was just in my feelings, and I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. She can stay. Are you sure? Um, yeah, yeah. It's okay. She can stay. Come here. I'm sorry, babe. Listen, I'm sorry. Okay? I'll never do anything to hurt you. Or I'll never do anything to... to make you cry. Okay. Right. So she can stay. Yeah, she can stay. Yeah. It's okay. She cheated on my wife with her best friend. Chantal was the only best friend she had at the time. But all of this happened before I got married to my wife. Chantal and I did all kinds of crazy things together. We did drugs. We went partying. Went to strip clubs. I don't know. I was just young and stupid. Our relationship became so crazy that I had to get her a bigger apartment. Because I wanted to continue seeing her without my, my, my fiance knowing at the time. I went as far as stealing my fiance's money to make that happen. <sighs> Things became crazy. And weeks before I got married to my wife, I wanted out of the relationship. I wanted to end it all. Because I was losing myself. Because I became a shadow of myself. I just wanted to run away from her. Unfortunately for me, she was pregnant. Yeah. She got pregnant. I couldn't take it. I suggested an abortion. Ray, you don't want to know what happened. I didn't know I was digging my grave. Fine. She accepted to do the abortion. And after she did it, she came back with a story of her womb being damaged. I got really scared. Because she began to blame me for everything. She said I was the cause of her misfortune. Ray, I got very, very worried. I had to relocate with my wife. I wanted to go far away from her. I didn't want to see her again. I didn't want to have anything to do with her again. Because I'm in love with my wife. She wanted to destroy us. I had to run away. 
I never saw her again until yesterday when she resurfaced, threatening to kill me, threatening to tell my wife about everything. I'm totally confused right now. I don't know what to do. I just have one question. In all of your escapades with her, with their promises made like you, you're gonna spend the rest of your life with her, with, 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 with some sort of affection that you love her. Ray, right? listen, we're just having fun. We both were having fun. It was just fun. Nothing else. Okay, was this said girl in love with you or perhaps were you in love with her? Ray, cut the crap, man. How am I supposed to know that? How am I supposed to... Listen. The worst thing I did was associate myself with that girl. I shouldn't have ever done that. Sometimes I wish I can wipe away that memory off my head. Okay. Just, just, just calm down. You're just getting so tense up. Okay. Um... All I see here is your past calling. I really don't see anything big about this whole thing. All you have to do is just call your wife and tell her what's happening. And that's it. It's really nothing serious. Sorry, I... Ray, what did you say? You heard me. I should call my wife and tell her what's happening. That's it. How am I supposed to do that? Because she is your wife. I can't do that. Ray, I cannot do that. Listen, I love my wife. She means the world to me. And I can't afford to ruin things now. This girl is trying to destroy my life. Don't you understand? I expect you to come up with a better solution. Not telling me to go tell my wife. What the hell is wrong with you, man? You, don't, you didn't just say that to me. So you, you, you really want to keep all this whole thing away from her? And then eventually what happens? I made a big mistake, man. Right now, just like you said, my past... Just keep calling. Good morning, sir. Breakfast is served. And I want to know if there is anything extra you or your wife would need me to. Sir? Breakfast. Good morning, ma. Hey, Shanti, Shanti, how are you? I'm fine, my breakfast is nice. served, ma. Hey, Shanti, what is all this ma, ma, ma thing you're doing? Please, you need to drop it. My name is Mirabel, okay? Okay, ma. Ah, ah. Sorry. And by the way, what is this you're wearing? A uniform from the agency, ma'am. Oh, please. You need to drop this formality thing. Please, if you're going to be in my house, I don't want this. Uh -uh. I thought we've talked about this. God see the man's man. What is God see again? Huh? Shanti, your stay in my house is not just as a worker, but as a sister helping me out. Yes, I know we pay you for your services, but I need you to know that you were more than that to us. Okay? And meanwhile, this weekend, we're going for shopping. Yes. Thank I you. need to change your wardrobe. You need to, you know, get a few things. You know, get rid of this. I don't like it. For real. Okay, ma'am. And I also make money available for you to take care of your personal needs, toiletries, and the rest of it. 
So thoughtful, man. I appreciate. Yeah, Thank please. You, so you, you need to come up this two piece you're wearing. <laughs> Thank you, mom. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. And what did you make for breakfast? Yeah, man, exos, mom. Oh, great, great. I'll be downstairs, mom. All right. Shanti, baby, Shanti, please. What's this mapping? Shanti, now we will. Now we will. <laughs> oh my god, this girl is hilarious. Baby. <laughs> You know what to do, right? Listen up. Please, drive carefully. All right. Babe, I'll see you soon. Okay. All right. Mm. <laughs> Take care. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Okay. Why? Are you sure? Of course I'm fine. Wait, I don't look fine. I don't know. Maybe walk straight or... Oh, come on, baby. Ah... Uh, just have a lot of time. I need to get off my chest. Oh, it's okay. Go ahead. Okay. You know I love you too. I love you more. I 
So I want you to come to bed. No, I want to go get you something to drink. Would no. you like some coffee? <laughs> oh, no, no, you don't need coffee. Um, how about some ice cream? Mm-hmm. I'll get some ice cream from the fridge. No. Why? She's come to bed. She's come to bed? Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll get it. Give me a second. Oh, wait. But, but babe, you should be here. Oh, please. I should protect you from... Protect me from what? From evil. What? Evil? Okay, okay, all right, fine. <laughs> I'll just stay here. Oh. Careful. Mm-hmm. Baby's okay? Please, you need to stop. You need to stop. What? You have to change. You have to. What did you just say? <laughs> my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. So, where did you get those dresses from? Online now. Where else? They're beautiful. Hey. So, where did you get them from? Mm. Where else? My husband, of course. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, baby. The made from the agency. What about her? The last time I checked, she was a uniformed domestic worker. So, come on. It's nothing. I stopped her. I don't like that idea. I mean, who wears uniform to do domestic work? Are you comfortable with this thing she's putting on in your home? Mm-hmm. It's nice. Stop it. Listen, you see that lady? She is more like a sister to me. I tell you. She is. As a matter of fact, I bought most of her dresses for her. You mean you bought those dresses for her? That thing she's putting on? It's beautiful. Vivian, ah. <laughs> come up with please. How do I know? Chantel, I'm sorry you can't stay here. You have to leave. You're trying to destroy my family. And I won't let that happen. But if you insist, I'll have to destroy you too. A woman whose life has been destroyed has nothing to lose. Not anymore. I'm sure you are aware of this when the past came knocking. And I am sure you are aware of the consequences 
when the past came calling. Mike, I will leave. But this time around, you must dance to my tune. What do you want? Babe, sh should I wear a jacket on on this? No, this is this is okay. You like this? It's no. cool. No, that's why I tell her to wear a black jacket or something. You don't no. like it. So because of my nails. Oh, sorry. I just have you out here. Yeah, yeah, wrong nails. Maybe I'll see you later. It's good to work. It's almost there. Shanti. Sorry to badging, ma'am. It's fine. I'm here to pick up the laundry. Oh, yeah. It's over there. Okay, please, come on. Right. You don't want to be late. Yeah, what? I... Where's my coffee? Okay, downstairs. Bye. Shanti, baby. <laughs> A two-day trip to a city. Of my choice. Tired of snaking around in the house with my man. Been a while I mo I moaned and screamed on top of my voice while in your arms. Having that big strong reliable structure of yours inside of me I need to have I need to have sex I need you to have sex with me in such a way that the old memories will be formatted from the brains okay getting interesting this must be this weekend or never do this for me, and I will never. Yo, yo, yo listen up, uh, Ray. Can you just get done with this reading and? It's not me. That's what she wrote. This this entire content is is trying to drive me crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Good morning. Do this for me, and I will forever leave your home and forget we had a thing in the past. Ignore my request and expect the worst and I am sure you know your wife too well she is a good listener and you wouldn't want to see her come on bro what's this come on open your brains your eyes everything come on bro can't you see the pictures on the wall the handwriting on the wall I mean it's Hi, time. You, you, you told your wife about this whole thing. Can't you see that it's all blackmail? She's trying to blackmail you, bro. Ray, what are you talking about? Tell my wife about what exactly? Do you know what you're asking me to do? Listen, Ray. I'd rather defile myself than hurt my wife. I can't tell her that. That's what you think. Mm. Baby. Mm -hmm. No, I love you, right? No, I'm just. I'm just happy to have you. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, seriously. I know. I know. I'll never do anything to hurt you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I love you so much. I love you so, so, so. 
babe. Mm -hmm. So I was going to tell you that um, I have a business meeting to attend in Abuja. Yeah, I'm spending two days. You're traveling. Yes, I have to. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. Uh, it's it's uh, it's urgent. Yeah. Yeah, initially, I I thought I wasn't going to attend, but I got a call yesterday, and uh, they said it's very necessary for me to attend, so I have to go. It's a business meeting. I have to attend. So why didn't you tell me yesterday? Why why are you just telling me? Baby, now? I'm sorry. I apologize. I thought I wasn't going to attend, but I got a call, and they said it's very important for me to be there. So. Hey, what's that look now? Come on, I should maybe I shouldn't have told you. What's that look on your face? I don't know. Tell me. I'm like I'm I'm already started missing you. Oh my lord. Baby, I'm so sorry. I'll be I'll be back in two days. Alright? It's important I attend and that's why I have to go. Please, I'll be back in two days mm, before you know it. Okay. All right. Two yeah. days, just two days, and I'm back. It's okay. I'll be right here praying for you to have a successful business trip. Thank you, my love. That's <laughs> why I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you too. I'm back in two days before you know it, right? Two days. Yeah, two days. Okay. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. <laughs> Why is he not taking his calls? James. Yes, ma'am. You have to be up and doing today. We have a lot of catching up to do. Okay, ma'am. is for you and I, not even your wife, nor anyone else. Beg your pardon? That's my wife calling. And that's my best friend. Honey, don't forget we agreed we were going to drive around town. Have fun. And settle in a nice hotel for two days. Sweet love making. Only all this we've done except the last. And, and here we are in the hotel. I think we've stayed too long in this bar. Listen, homeboy, I am leaving. Of course I need to leave. Listen, you told me to come with you to the hotel and I escorted you all the way here. I don't know, would you even expect me to go inside the, the hotel room with you and probably have sex with her? Oh no, no freaking way. Trust me. I need to go back to my wife.
We've already sent those ones to Ghana. Just expect it in two weeks' time. You know what? Just send me a mail. Yes, yeah, send, send me a mail. Yeah, I will reply, okay? All right, thank you very much. Good evening, ma. Hello, Mrs. Kate. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Very well. Oh, ma, you came alone. I thought you were supposed to. Oh, no. I know I was supposed to send my workers to get the monthly feedback from our customers, but no. I want to do it by myself. <laughs> I mean, my husband traveled to Abuja for a business trip, and I am so bored in the house. And of course, it's all part of exercise, or don't you think so? Yeah, yeah, you need it. You don't, you don't I need it, I tell you. Yeah, seriously. So, uh, where is the manager? Um, oh, let me, let me see the truth. Okay. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Naim, it's Alka. Alka? Packed out there. But my husband drove in his car. You came out with that, your new boo, the of one course. you told me about. My upcoming sugar daddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so where is he right now? Uh, boo! Uh, hey, what are you doing here? Mr. Rainbow! Hey, I should be asking you what are you doing here. <laughs> <laughs> Look well, at you. Um, I came to have a physical interaction with my clients. Hmm. You know, oh. my husband traveled and I have been really, really, really bored. Oh, oh your yeah. husband? Yes. So, um, <laughs> of course, it's all part of um, exercise. A pregnant woman needs exercise, you know. Absolutely, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> so, um, Mr. Raymond, I saw my husband's car outside. That, um, you know, your husband called me earlier that um, he had issues with his car, so I had to bring over mine and took his to the mechanics. I just drove it down here. Yeah. Oh. My husband left Papuja this morning in his car. <laughs> yes, I'm aware, actually. Um, he called me earlier and he said his car has got issues, like his car is faulty, so I had to take mine and took his to the mechanic. That's what happened. So he drove in your car? Yes. I mean, he should have called me to tell me that his car broke down. James would have driven my car to him wherever he is. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying to call. He isn't even taking his calls. I don't know why. Um, yes, um, you know, we spoke a few minutes ago and then he said, um, we saw a few minutes ago and he said he didn't want to disturb you, you know, because of your state, you know. That's why. A few minutes ago. <laughs> Oh, did I say a few minutes ago? I mean, a few hours ago. Yes, a few hours ago. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> Absolutely. Don't I look okay? I'm okay. You know what? Since you are here, I should be your peer for the rest of the day. Come, oh, please, come, Raymond, come. don't even start. Please. What? Come, 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 come here. Chelsea, enjoy your stay. Okay, bye. Come on, there's no way I was going to tell her about us. What did you tell her? What? What the hell did you tell her? 
Listen, listen, listen. Wait, what, what? You were looking my direction. Why? I want you to call me your sugar daddy. Are you crazy? Come on, there was no way I was going to tell her about us. You called me a sugar daddy. That you're here to see your sugar daddy. So I'm a sugar daddy, right? Honey, I'm not that. You're mad. Not until I'm. Listen to me. Having listen, a piece of you. Listen, stop. listen to me. Listen. You're trying to destroy me, right? I won't let that happen. You need to stay clear. You need to stay clear. Do you understand? You need to stay clear. Your phone. Oops.
What else do I need? Then my shadows come calling. What do I do? Where do I run to? How do I walk away? How do I stay away? How do I write? How do I write my wrong? How do I walk away? How do I stay away? How do I write? Away. How, do How do I stay away? How do I write? How do I write my wrong? How do I write my wrong? How do I walk away? How do I stay away? How do I write? How do I write my My shadow comes calling. What do I do? Where do I run to? him do the needful. He should open up to his wife before it's too late. He said his wife will be going for at night or tomorrow and by the time she comes back, the Evelyn Canet would have been sent packing. Packing? Where then will he tell his wife that her bosom friend had disappeared too? Especially when she literally wants her around all the time. I hope he has figured out a lie to cover up. The lies that would definitely emanate, especially when the chantel of a lady shows her face again. Or you think she won't? Or his wife would call? Do you think so? Hey, babe. <clears throat> you okay? Why do I have this feeling that you're gonna hurt me? 
hurt you. What do you mean? I don't know. Is there anything bothering you? Listen. Listen. You can talk to me. I mean, I'm here to listen to you. Oh, come on, babe. Listen. It, there's nothing wrong. There's, there's absolutely nothing wrong. It, it just... It just, um... Yeah, just what? Tell me, please. What? Babe, there's nothing wrong. I'm fine. I'll, I'll just... <sighs> okay, okay, so... <sighs> I was a bit disappointed, you know, with some of my clients who, you know, uh, turned me down. Um, but it's in the past. I'm, I'm better now, honestly. I'm fine. I'm good, babe. Hey, I'm good, babe. I'm fine. I, I don't know. I don't know why I keep having this feeling that you're going to hurt me. Please. Don't. Don't hurt me. I mean, I won't be able to stand it. I'm going to die. Don't. I, I don't have a father. I don't have a mother. No siblings. No relatives. Nothing. It's just me. I'm just a girl who mysterious circumstances through into the street and I've been struggling to survive. And then I met you. I met you. And you're everything to me. You grace my word. You're my brother, my father, my husband, everything. And so please do not hurt me. Because I won't be able to survive it. I've built my world around you and whatever strike that comes from you is going to pierce my heart so bad. It's going to hurt me so bad. Please. I want you to safeguard our love for the sake of our child. Just. Babe. Just do not hurt babe. us. Babe. Please. It's okay. Please stop talking. Please. Nothing is going to happen to you. No one is going to hurt you. I promise you that. Yeah, well, I, I, I'd rather hurt myself than hurt you. You know that. I love you that much. I promise not to do anything to compromise the love I have for you. I just want this feeling to stop already. It's okay. Please be positive and Stop having such thoughts. They're not safe. Please. I love you. How do I walk away? How do I stay away? How do I write? How do I write my wrong?
James. Ma? Please go back to the house. Ma? Go back to the house. I, I forgot something. Okay, no problem.
Lying in the hospital motionless. The doctors haven't said anything yet enough to convince us of our safety. I just hope nothing happens to that woman. I hope nothing happens to her too. Please, is there anything in this house? I'm famished. Yes, I made rice. Please. Let me get you some. Yeah, yeah. Can I get you something to eat? Are you hungry? Or should I get you some water to drink? Babe, can I get you some water to drink? Babe. I'm trying to get you some water. Babe. Can I get you Can I get you some water? Babe, listen now. Look at me. Babe. Babe. Can I get you some water to drink? Babe, you're scaring me. You're scaring me. What is it? Why why are you Babe, why are you acting like this? You're scaring me. What is it? You're scaring me. What is it? Talk to me. Babe, you're scaring me. Stop looking at me like that. What is it? Mirabel! Mirabel!
I feel like a bitch right now. I feel like a failure. I've messed up. I can't believe myself. I'm so ashamed of myself. I feel like I have lost it all. Everything I have worked hard for. Because of my carelessness. My wife won't talk to me. She has refused to speak to me. We live in the same house, but she's not there. Her body's right there. Staring at me, but her soul, her spirit, her mind, they're all gone. I feel like a shadow of myself. Why? Why do I have to go through all of this because of my mistake? Ray, that girl has been through a lot. She doesn't deserve this. I keep hurting her. Come on, bro. You have to take it easy on yourself. Come on. You have to take it easy on yourself. I mean, you just need to give her some time to heal off this wound. But trust me, you have got a major role to play. You have. That's the point. How do I correct these mistakes? How do I right my wrongs? How do I get back on the right track? What happens if I lose my wife and my unborn child? Do you think about that? You just have to put yourself together and everything will work out well. Babe. Babe, I'm home. Baby. Babe. I have gone. Gone far away, away to the land unknown, where I am headed, I don't even know. But the one thing that I know for sure is that I am not surviving this, discovering this myself, 
It's too much for me to handle. My spirit is just yelling for my body. I'd rather die peacefully. Die in one piece in the land that I don't know. Then die in pieces in the land that I know. This is so heartbreaking. Anyway, much love. Where's my wife? Huh? Where is my wife? Hey. Madam, I've been seeing carry back the Komota side What? You saw her where? She's been carried back the Komota side And you let her leave? So I know if it, I know if you stop her now. No matter where she be. How do you go in search of an orphan with no mother, no father, no siblings, no relatives? And the worst of it all, she had to keep friends. I'm not trying to fashion business. But this right here happening today, you bring it upon yourself. Oh, yes, you would have unfattered all of this whole thing, but no. This is not lost an angel. Yes, you did. Everything seems to be happening so fast. The issue of his wife, investments crumbling, the house tough, and, and his job. Mind fired. You think all this have something to do with the issue with his wife? Why? It's good luck, child. Chantel, I am doomed. Chantal, I am a shadow of myself. My life is in danger. My life is ruined. My wife has left me. She left with all of my existence. 
I am broken. Chantal, I know you once wanted me, but you left. Why the hell did you come back? Who sent you? What's your mission here? To destroy you. Ever heard of the saying that when a babysitter comes to babysit a baby and the baby she came to babysit dies? She has no option other than to leave. And yes, I left. Simply because my mission has been accomplished to destroy and render you useless. And I am happy what is left of you is an empty barrel. A punishment for toiling with the emotions of a woman who loved you with her whole heart. But you chose to toil with her emotions. That thing in between your legs went to the market and sure bought some goods. Enjoy it while it lasts. Your boy I don't buy markets. My name is Chantel, and no one turns with my emotions and goes scot free. It the play, it the show. Now, huh? You, you know what I think? You need to take a shower, baby. What do you think? Yes, I think you should bathe and, and uh, uh, help yeah. get him something to eat first. Get up, get up, you! I can't, I can't touch his balls, man. He has to. <coughs> Babe, you see, I can't even bathe him. He's a grown man because I can't touch his balls. Uh, let's just help him up, like take him to the bed. That's what I'm saying. I, I, let's just let's just make him sleep properly. You know I can touch your balls, man. You need to take a shower yourself. Baby, help him up, please. Let's take him to the bed. You know what? No. Let's just leave him here. When it gets better, you're going to take your bath yourself. Come on, baby. He can't be on the floor. Come on, baby, please. Baby, I mean, you, you get me floor. worried. I, I kept calling your cell phones. I was scared. Babe, I was so scared. We can't leave him on the floor. And he's just, he's just been drinking his ass to stupid. Baby. Just, it's okay. Thank God he's safe.
You know what they say? Sometimes we really don't know the value of what we have until we lose it. The sense of sincerity I have seen in him. He truly loves and misses his wife. He does? Absolutely. Then what are we waiting for? I think it's time. I need you to calm down. Whatever it is, can we wait later? But right now, please sit down. Okay. Please. Right. Easy, easy. For the sake of my unborn child, I will stay. You have to promise me. You have to promise me that no one must know that I'm here. Not, not even my husband. That's okay. You have to promise me, please. 
trust me. I promise. Nobody is going to know that you're here. Okay. Not even my husband. Not my husband. You must not tell him, please. I beg you. Okay, that's fine. But right now, I just need you to relax, okay? Just relax. My wife is away, but I know when she's back, she's gonna take care of you, okay? Let me get you water. Hey, what's up, homeboy? How are you? Hey, what's going on? What for? No, come on, it hasn't gotten to this. you here. No, trying to talk you into what your heart does not desire. You have eyes to see. You have ears to listen. Deep inside you, you know how much your husband loves you and can't move on without you. I know you still love him as well, despite his flaws. He has made mistakes and I believe he has learned his lessons. Your wish was to stay here, to observe and to know his feelings for you. But now you know better. As for my brother, he's keeping to his promise. Your stay here, your safety is sure. But I'm scared. I pray your husband will not harm himself before you return to him. I know he loves you so much and I can't wait for you both to get back together. I don't know what would have become of me and the baby in my womb if not for Raymond and his wife. Those two they are just a gift from God to me. We are sorry. Sorry for keeping all of this whole thing away from you, my friend. Sorry for intruding. We had to do everything we could to save your marriage. But then she made us play by her conditions that nobody knows about her whereabouts and that includes you. We, we literally you had to stay up all night to make sure your home's free. 
as a matter of fact, I, I, all we could do was to make sure that this marriage works again. We are sorry. We are truly, truly sorry. Thank you, Ray. I, I appreciate everything. I promise not to take this moment for granted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I'll never hurt you again. Mistakes were made in the past. Lessons learned. This is us creating a new beginning for a better tomorrow. Our love conquered. Believe our love conquered. Little did I know that in the middle of the ride lies some hurdles. What do I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Oh, Lord. Hey! Babe, why are you just. I'm not happy. Wait, wait, you're not waiting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, get out, get out. No, 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 no. no. Get out! Get out! Get out! If you wake you up, you're gonna get to it. Oh my Jesus. god, why was that? Oh my god. Ah. You have to wait. You have to wait. Okay, good night, bye. So oh, come on, come on. Oh, I
smells sweet and smells like a berry. Like a berry. Every day I wanna marry. Oh no no. Oh be more. Oh, yeah yeah yeah. It feels so good that I always want a sweet ride. Sun by sun with my wife. The love of my life. The love of my life. Baby, baby, little did I know that in the middle of the ride lies some harder. What do I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then my shadow comes calling. What do I do? Where do I run to? Oh, yeah, How do yeah, yeah. I walk away? Walk away, walk away. How do I stay, stay away? away, stay stay away. away. How, do I write? How do I write my wrong? How do I write my wrong? How do I walk away? Walk away. How do I stay away? Stay away. How do I write?